Clearly, the palaces, um, both Kensington Palace and Buckingham Palace, will be um, girding themselves, waiting for this. Uh, although the indications had been that for the, the previous episodes, no one had actually sat down and watched them. Yes, well, if we look at the first three episodes which were released on Thursday, it got up to the point of Harry and Meghan's wedding in 2018. So this final three episodes, which are going to be released on Thursday, is going to talk about Harry and Meghan's decision to step back as working members of the royal family, royal family moved to California. So it's all of that, those bombshell revelations to do with the Sussex summits, the negotiations with the other members of the royal family, the issue of security. And from this trailer, it's pretty clear this is going to be a lot more incendiary than perhaps the first three episodes were. There's one particular quote, which I'm just going to read to you because it's, it, it's very important. It says, this is Prince Harry, yeah. they were happy to lie to protect my brother. They were never willing to ch tell the truth to protect us. Right. I think we can play it now. I think uh, we, we've got that. Uh, just uh, bear with us and we'll just uh, play this in. It just arrived with us. I wasn't being thrown to the wolves. I was being fed to the wolves. They were actively recruiting people to disseminate disinformation. They were happy to lie to protect my brother. They were never willing to tell the truth to protect us. Victims once again, it seems. That's, that's the storyline. Victims once again. Now, from first looking at this trailer and that particular line about willing to lie to protect my brother... The question is, who is they in this context? And lying about what? And lying about yeah. what? Many people perhaps would jump to the conclusion that it was the institution or the British royal family even. If clearly from the trailer, we don't get any context on that. Mm. But there is a difference here, which I believe we have a screenshot of, between what was released on Twitter just 10 minutes ago and what the subtitles read and what's been released on Netflix websites themselves. Oh. Now, what I mean by that is on Twitter, it quotes Prince Harry saying they were willing to lie to us. On Netflix, the subtitles read the British media were willing to lie to protect Prince William. And all of this is significant because of uh, the, the variance, if you like, between what some people say is established fact and what's being claimed uh, in these documentaries. Uh, and, and we have... Uh, for instance, in, in terms of the previous uh, clips that we've seen, shots showing paparazzi from completely different occasions than, than uh, was associated with both Harry and Meghan. Therefore, the veracity of what is being said is under scrutiny. Exactly. It certainly weakens the arguments from the first lot of trailers that were released when they were using pictures of paparazzi, which had absolutely nothing to do with Harry and Meghan, there's clearly two sides to every story. And I think we, we can't really question the fact that Harry yeah. and Meghan genuinely believe yeah. what they feel. But clearly there is an issue here where we're only getting ha a half truth because we know that Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace are not going to be responding to this trailer, or at least that's the official line. I can imagine if there's a particularly damaging trailer uh, allegation, then they may well respond. Right. I think we've got this graphic. Now, that's, that's what we were uh, yeah, showing, we're first of all. So this is... Um... So we're going to have to get rid of the strap so we can read the subtitles. Um, but this particular right, the um, British screen... British media British... are happy uh, to lie to protect my brother. Yes, and that is not what Prince Harry says. Prince Harry says they were willing to lie to protect my brother. A very small point, but clearly in this Netflix trailer, it is giving more context, right. but that's not actually what Prince Harry okay. said. And just to touch on that, uh, on the release of these, these last three episodes, which you had to sit through in a very comfy cinema seat. Yes. However, uh, there was immediately a, a challenge uh, from the royal household with the Netflix claim at the beginning, uh, the slate said, you know, we've contacted uh, the, the, the royal households for comment. They, they have declined to do so. And then we had the response saying, no, actually, we weren't contacted for comment, even though there was some phone call, I think, to Kensington Palace from a, a production company. Yeah, it was a, a very small point. From my understanding, an, an email was sent to both Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace from a third-party production company, which was unverified. So Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace, from my understanding, both contacted Archwell Productions, which is Harry and Meghan's media arm of their company, and Netflix themselves to try and verify this unsolicited email address. Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace, from my understanding, did not receive a response from either Archwell or Netflix, so therefore did not respond to this production company. Then, of course, this slate comes on saying that members of the royal family were unwilling to comment on the documentary. So clearly the royal household is disputing it, but Netflix is saying they were contacted. Uh, Prince William has kept his counsel on these first three episodes. 
Will he do so, given what seems to be a direct challenge just from what we saw on screen there? Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty hard for Prince William this week. I mean, clearly this is just a trailer, but that trailer has already released an extra bombshell, hasn't it? The Queen sets precedent following the Oprah interview of 2021 when Meghan accused an unnamed member of the royal family of racism. Harry accused Clarence House of financially cutting him off, which was denied, um, etc. But the Queen released a statement saying that recollections may vary. That was a precedent. So I think if there is particularly damaging allegations, which this new trailer very much alludes to, yeah, yeah. yeah, um, it would not surprise me if there is some kind of comment from Buckingham yeah. Palace or push, Kensington push Palace. Pushback was the phrase that was used, I think, wasn't it, 